This next product will surely have some very interesting uses. This is a PS2 trackball. It's got a PS2 connector on one side and this lovely trackball on the other side. And if we crack this thing open, we can see we've got this nice clear ball and then we've got just optical encoders for the X and the Z axis and we've even got some LEDs here in the bottom. So it's really easy to hack. You can use the PS2 library for Arduino and hook this directly up to an Arduino and you can use this to control your Arduino. And the other nice thing about this too is that the second wire lead with all these wires coming out of it, these are actually the mouse buttons. So if we take the ground and connect it to the yellow, we've got a left click, to the white we've got a right click, and then to the red we've got that middle button. So you could use this just as a full-fledged mouse, or you could do something else interesting with it with your Arduino. And we've got a little demo set up to show you just one of those uses that you could use it for. Here we've got an interesting little demo that my assistant Nick came up with. We were trying to think of a way to use this other than a mouse or other than a trackball and use it something a little bit different. He really likes a musical instrument shield. So what we've done is we've enclosed this in a box. We've got the two arcade buttons hooked up to the left and the right mouse buttons. We've got the trackball here hooked up with the PS2 connector into the Arduino. And we're using the PS2 library with the Arduino. And then we've got the musical instrument shield hooked up to some speakers over here. And what happens is when we spin this, it plays notes, and it plays higher notes if we spin it this way, lower notes if it plays it that way, and then goes louder or softer. And then these two buttons will actually change whichever instrument we want to play. So let's power it on and see what it sounds like. So there we go. So you go really high really low. And we can go quieter or louder. And then by using this button, we can change the instruments. So it's a neat little demonstration to show some of the other ways you can use a trackball other than a mouse. And as you can see, when it turns on, you've got this nice green glow. And when you press a button, it has a red LED, and this is not something we programmed in, this is just the nature of the trackball, so this is how it works.